Hey, Ray, thanks for joining us on today's video on a ridiculously custom car that you may not see all the details in the write-up of. So I want to take a minute, walk around the car with you. All right, so what we want to do is talk about paint. When, when we talk about paint, we say, okay, a car is shiny, but we don't really know what makes a car shiny. So imagine when you fixed uh, a hole at home, like a nail hole or something like that, and you rushed it, you painted it, and then you walk by and go, oh, I can still see that. The reason why is because great quality work on top is tied up in the prep down below. This car has had a lot of prep ready. It's beautiful straight metal, and then it's deep black, tuxedo black paint, right? And the reason it looks so good is because of all the effort that went in it before they even sprayed the paint on it. So when I say mirror finished paint, you check that out. That right there, you can see every letter, every uh, uh, numeral in it, everything in there is crystal clear, and that's what you want to be looking for when you're looking for paint, because you can always see the reflection of stuff in paint, but it needs to be crystal clear. The better the quality paint, the more clear uh, the writing is in there. If somebody won't do a video for you, you know, you can even throw your uh, that in the picture or whatever, and it just looks really, really good, and then you'll know what kind of paint you're getting. This has been also clear coated over, so it looks really, really nice, but the best part about it is while you're washing and waxing this car over years, uh, the stripes won't tear along the way. Just a small little thought put in there. Removing the front bumpers and doing this grill in here makes it look very different than any other car out there. This is a wickedly sinister looking car and we're looking at a lot of things that make it different. For instance, we've removed the door handles here. We can see that the tail of the car, right, has had uh, the rear spoiler integrated into it. It's now part of the whole package of it. The cowl induction hood just looks so good. It's old school, but still uh, so modern looking and everything it does. Let's take a peek under the hood and let's look at uh, almost 500 cubic inches of, uh, of V8 power. All right, let's take a peek under here and uh, I wanna show you where $25,000 is spent. Well, Tony, how could it possibly be $25,000? Well, I'm probably light by thousands. For instance, this has a chassis work front suspension in it. So you get rack and pinion steering and a whole modern large frame compared to the standard uh, uh, Camaro frame that would have come there. Coil over suspension, tubular control arms, adjustable for height. These billet pieces here, 600 or 500 cubic inches, 496 to be exact, right? Um, of ridiculous, ridiculous power. Throw in aluminum heads too, so we saved a lot more weight. One nice piece about this is the, uh, the true track system. So you have your air conditioning compressor here, which is polished, polished uh, alternator, uh, upgraded power steering pump, a water pump and things like that. This whole system just looks so nice. It cleans everything up. It takes away the ugly black pulleys and what have you. Then this air cleaner. The air cleaner is not super expensive, but it just looks so good underneath the hood, right? Throw in the MSD ignition, and uh, you have what really appears to be uh, a pretty exotic, exotic engine compartment. The air conditioning is nicely done too because it's not draped across the engine. It's run inside the fender into the firewall there. It's all this little detail stuff that you don't see. And if you don't see and I don't explain it, uh, it makes it just uh, difficult to see how great a car this really is. Giant radiator. Look at the size of this radiator. It's 100% larger than the factory radiator. Not 10% or 20%, 100% larger than the factory radiator that came in this car dual electric fans behind it. I'm a freak about a car running cool because I hate to be in the summer and then the car die in the traffic, right? And then you gotta wait for it to cool down. That's no, I'm not happening. This right here solves those problems. Car runs nice and cool, flip the AC on too, which is nothing wrong with that at our age. I don't want my gel to melt, right? Bad hair day, even worse than what I'm having right now. And it solves all those issues. This is a very shiny car you can see. Well, I mean, look at this, man, it is beautiful. I wanted to show you, I wanted to point out this, cause this is where a lot of time is spent. This custom piece here, right? Which makes this tire look so much bigger because it's, it's in, almost highlighting it from the back end. Custom molded in this piece right here. Stripes still look great. You know, the great thing about this car too is you can still do some tasteful things if you wanted to kind of make it your own. So for instance, let's say you didn't love stripes these stripes can be removed and the car can be all black. Or maybe you wanted red stripes, or maybe you wanted something, uh, a college color, whatever that may be. The great news about it is we can handle that kind of thing here because all of the hard work, all of the thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars has been done. This is the easy part, customizing it the way you want it. You may like it just the way it is. You really can't see this, but these are billet taillight lenses uh, with LEDs in there as well. Gas cap is hidden too. Modern Camaro call-out emblems here. You can't see in the video underneath, but the underneath, you need to spend some time under there because underneath the car has so many great pieces from the Fab Five, Fab Nine rear end, Fab Five, the Beatles, 
uh, the Fab 9 rear end that's in here, just to the coilovers, just all the effort, the effort that's gone into all that. So uh, I rambled for a little bit, and then this nice little piece here I like so much, right? This is a beautiful piece, and if I could get Angie just to come on up here and show you. Uh, so we got the places here for uh, fuel pumps, but in here is a beautiful sound system with subwoofer, amps are all built in here, uh, carpeted all the way around, full custom trunk, just a, a beautiful, beautiful piece of extra effort that somebody put into it. All right, so come join me in here. Uh, you're going to spend your time here, and uh, although walking up to it is fabulous, uh, your time spent in here is great. So keep in mind that there's a roll bar hidden inside this car, right? There's a roll bar all buried up inside here, keeping you safe, right? You can't even see it. All custom interior, custom matching uh, pattern back seat as well. So you could take the kids out in the car, go with another couple, full custom dash as well. Just a low, low 10,000 RPM tack and 160 mile, mile an hour speedometer. This is an LED shifter. These, uh, this is a billet shifter. Oh, whew, billet specialty shift and shift knob on here and just clicks so nice into place. Modern air conditioning and heat, right? Both of those things. Because this car you should drive in the winter, man. This would be an awesome car to take out in the winter and have some fun in. And a full array of gauges, killer Alpine sound system in here. And uh, you throw in some tilt wheel and a place where you can just kind of cruise and, and, and roll around. Uh, it's, just, uh, it's just really, really nice. M once we get to the sound of the car, all of everything I said will be over because it just makes it rumble like no other car. I really love the fact though that they kept it old school and that you could crank the windows up. So let's go ahead and crank the windows up. Oh, I'm sorry. Are those hidden power windows turned in by that cool knob? Look at that touch, man. That is a cool, cool touch. One finger down, tinted, blacked out and ready to go. That's an awesome feature. So we closed up this exotic Pro Touring uh, muscle car, and this is kind of the way to buy a car, man. First off, uh, if we look at the effort that was put into it, you could price around all of the pieces and the effort gone into restoring the whole car. Everyone will tell you well over 100,000, so I don't need a confirmation for that. But I do know this, the car drives so great. It's designed, all the components work together. You know, you could cobble this and that and what have you, and it looks great or whatever, but it drives terrible. This from the brakes to the right size tires. They're not too big, but they're not too small. Uh, the roll cage inside ties everything together to keep the car from being uh, loosey-goosey. The suspension's adjustable. You can pick the height that you want. It's got coilovers on it. And I'm rambling, but air conditioning, digital sound system, blah, 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 so much stuff. Anyway, you gotta find a way to get this cool car in your garage. Call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about it. Don't forget to uh, share this if you would, please, and uh, subscribe and like to our Facebook page as well as our YouTube channel. And uh, I would love to hear about Camaro stories that you have. Maybe you've driven some in the past. Maybe uh, uh, you owned one in the past back in the day or your parents did or you got a cool one right now. I'd love to hear about that. And stay tuned for the awesome test drive video.